Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Recommended Setups and today we're going to be taking a look at the Loki. So there's going to be three setups I'm going to show you today. Uh, these are the builds which I would actually run if I had to run the Loki in Champion League. And uh, before I get started, uh, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And also one more thing, because I always get asked this, um, there is a playlist with, I think, 17 or 18 robots. This might actually be the 18th one. Um, but I have covered like the Ares, um, I think the Shell as well, the Typhon, um, the Fenrir, a lot of bots. Definitely make sure to check it out uh, because I have a couple of recommendations um, as far as those robots go. So yeah, I guess let's get started here with the Halo build first. Okay, so the first build we're going to take a look at here is the Halo build. And I think some players actually might be surprised uh, by this pick because, um, you know, these weapons were nerfed down, but it is starting to get... Um, you know incremental buffs so the last buff to this weapon i believe was the accumulation buff so if you have like freezer suppressor lockdown and chips um, you know this weapon's actually going to build up that accumulation a lot faster and i believe they are planning a 10 percent damage uh, buff but don't quote me on that because i'm not sure if they're settled uh, you know on that amount but um, definitely keep an eye out on these uh, you know weapons so the footage you see actually in this video you know, whatever it is, uh, these weapons are going to be even deadlier after that buff. So keep that in mind. Um, in terms of uh, passive modules, I would use um, armor kit, heavy armor kit, balance unit, and also last stand if you're in Champion League. This is really, uh, I think, important. Um, jump unit or phase shift is the other one that I would use in terms of active modules. And in terms of the pilot, I highly recommend this pilot. Um, as you can see, a Loki repairs a portion of its durability when entering recon mode. And when exiting recon mode, stealth deactivates later than usual. And that's actually important because especially when you're attacking um, a player, okay? And um, in terms of the important skills here, I would say Roadhog, Adamant Roadhog, Armor Expert, and uh, let's see, also maybe Mechanic and Adamant Mechanic. Those are the skills I would pick uh, for the Loki. So uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at some gameplay now of the Halo build. And then afterwards, we're going to take a look at the Rhyme build. There we go. I kind of messed up my jump uh, earlier. Okay, so now actually wait, they have an Ao Jung there. That means he probably has a Yang Li pilot. Okay, so I'm going to stay close to this wall here because he's going to try to kill me. And uh, when he lands, that's when we're going to get him. And there we go. Uh-oh, 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 gotta get out of here. <laughs> they, had a, they had a Minos back there. What about these guys? We're actually having a really good run here with this Loki. The Nightingale might actually move into center here. I hope he does. Okay, so he's landing. Let's try to take this guy out. Look at that burst damage. And there we go, another kill. Let's move on over to uh, this end. I'm uh, just trying to run some beacons here. They actually have another player back there. Is that a Ravana? I think it's a Ravana. There's another player in center. Not sure what this guy's in. But uh, let's uh, let's try to deal with this guy. We have. We actually have to kind of be careful with the invader because his weapons are low enough to actually hit us. This guy is almost dead, so we can probably pick off this player here. Hold on. And maybe we can lock this guy down as well. So that guy has been locked. Let's get this beacon. I'm hoping this guy... Oh, shoot, he does. <laughs> he has a quantum sensor. I was just saying, I hope he doesn't have quantum sensor, but he does. So I'm going to need to get the heck out of here quickly. Out of his range. Ooh, he got me down to my last stand. Ouch. We can help out with this guy. Here we go. 
Okay, so next up we have the Rhyme build, and uh, here are the stats at max level. And uh, one thing to also mention, you know, with these weapons, they're very good at building accumulation. So if you have like lockdown suppression chips uh, for your drone, you know, this uh, build is perfect for that. And uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at some gameplay now so that you guys can see just how deadly this build is. So let's try to get this guy with some uh, rockets here. Yeah, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to hold this uh, beacon down. I'm not sure where my teammates are. They're all back there on that side. I'm not sure. <laughs> this is beacon rush, so that's why I have to stay on this beacon. So if these guys do start hitting me uh, pretty bad, I'm going to uh, jump just to delay things. So there we go. So we have uh, someone helping out now. I want them to look at the other player though. Okay, let's try to get this, uh, this phantom. So you can see I have suppressed him. I'm trying to get him down to that last stand. There we go. And uh, we're going to try to take out uh, the Savannah as well. And that... Oh, wait. There we go. Okay, so let's uh, let's push for a beacon here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was actually going to go for that guy, but I saw the Ravana. So uh, let's let's rather go for this beacon. Always go for the weakly guarded beacons. I hope they don't uh, drop in here. I'm just looking around. I don't see anyone dropping in, so I think we should be able to get this beacon. I'm gonna go for uh, this beacon over here afterwards. Yeah, it looks like they got our home beacon. Actually, wait. There is a player here. Where'd this guy come from? Uh, he's, he's, this guy's only firing one uh, Punisher. Let's see if we can try to get him, actually. Okay, so he, he jumped. I'm hoping that... Uh, no, we didn't even do that much damage to him. Let's see if we can try to get him again. It's that shield of his that's getting us pretty good. So let's uh, do that. <laughs> I'm trying to troll this guy. Let's just jump. <laughs> Maybe we can do that and try to get him again. And so he actually got me there. So I can't use my ability, but I did suppress him. So that's going to help a bit. Yeah, I really need to need to think if I should go for another beacon here. I might have to do that. So I'm going to go for another beacon because otherwise um, you can see what's happening with my team. <laughs> They're all getting uh, botted out here. But one reason why is because they didn't protect this beacon on the left side okay so hopefully um no one drops in on this side so i can at least get this beacon and then uh, i'm gonna actually kind of move to this side and see if we can maybe get this beacon or even the center yeah there's no one on this beacon so i might be able to uh, steal this beacon as well let's uh, try to hit this guy just to help out uh, my teammates there and I have suppressed him. You can see the uh, symbol above his uh, bot. Okay, and lastly, we have the scatter build. So here are the stats for the scatter at max level. The uh, passive modules I'm using, pretty much everything is the same. I did change jump unit to advanced repair, which is tied to my drone ships. And the pilot skills are all the same. Okay, so let's jump into some gameplay here with this build. And you guys can see just how deadly this build is. Okay, so let, let's try to take out some of these players here. I'm just waiting... Let's see if we can try to get this guy. We gotta watch out for that uh, shell. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm trying to run outside of that range. And uh, let's actually go for... Let's go for the center. It looks like they're gonna get the farm beacon too. Okay, so I'm wondering if this guy's gonna have... Uh, if he's gonna have um, quantum radar here. Okay, so he put up his shield. I'm going to try to take him out here quickly. There we go. And is he going to drop in? No, he did not. Yes. What does this player have back here? I'm just waiting for my advanced repair because of... Oh, wait. It's an Ares. Come on. He's almost down. Yes. Two Ares. And, um, it, oh, wait, oh, 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 
He's got uh, the Yang Li. That's not good. This guy has the Yang Li pilot. He's gonna roast me up. Holy crap. I'm trying to avoid getting hit by this player. Let's try to take him out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's gonna do it. Holy crap, heal! <laughs> That's close. And there's also um, a shell here. We might be able to actually take this guy out, um, you know, with this low key. Yes! Rampage! So, I'm almost dead here. My last stand was triggered. But definitely a very good run with this low key. Although I don't think I would actually use advanced repair now that, you know, I'm thinking about it. I think still phase shift or a jump is probably better. I'm going to try to actually uh, take out uh, this guy. Well, maybe this one here. Let's try to see what these guys have back here. Maybe, maybe this guy. I'm just waiting for his shield to uh, drop. And uh, let's try to get him now. There we go. And this guy. And maybe this one here too. 